possibly very well on his way. Earlier, he established a new world record in the squat competition. 804 pounds on the bar, and Larry is more than equal to the task. Earlier, Tony Carpino spoke with him and asked him if this competition is any different in terms of preparation. You know, it's just, just like the first one. I always try to get just as nervous and uh, just as psyched up, just like it was my first competition, which is, I think, is one of the reasons why I've been so successful. I, I want to be world champion this year. What's happened last year is in the past. I want to be this year's world champion. You mentioned psyching up. What do you do to prepare for the lifts? Anything special? Do you think about anything? Just what's, what I've already done it before. I know exactly what's ex expected of me. Uh, the lift's been done before, and I figure, well, if somebody else has done it, I can certainly do it again or do a little bit better. What happens with world records when you're breaking new ground? No one's done that before. Well, it always feels good to break a world record, but world records don't win contests. Right here, you got to hit the right lifts at the right time. If the world record, ha world record happens to be there, that's okay. I'll take it. Larry Pacifico, the most prominent name in powerlifting today, and this was his bench press effort earlier. 529 pounds. His wife, Carol, looking on, and she appears confident that Larry Pacifico can handle it. With ease, 529 pounds. Lift looked easy enough, but you notice Larry did go for his shoulder. I think that injury may be bothering a bit. Injury or not, he still has a lead of more than 100 pounds over his closest competitors, and apparently he's on his way to another title. When we return to Madison, Wisconsin, we'll have the final installment of this year's Larry Pacifico story. Bob Costas along with Tony Carpino. We're two-thirds of the way through. We've seen the squat and the bench press, and now behind us, they're setting up for the deadlift. Well, they have a saying in powerlifting. It says that when the weight goes to the floor, that's when all the action begins. The deadlifts will determine today who's going to be first, second, and third in this contest. It will determine the placings. Right now, the stand. First, second, and third. Pacifico, Dimaduck, and Johnson. And Pacifico apparently with a comfortable advantage. A lead of more than 100 pounds. Headed for another title. Apparently not so comfortable. The people out in the stands. Temperatures inside around 100 degrees. But nobody is leaving. With Larry Pacifico in pursuit. World title number 10. He needs to prevail here, however, in the national championships to get a place in that world competition. And his first deadlift attempt. 683 pounds, but no. Three red lights. What happened to Larry? It looks like they might have called it for not getting your shoulders back, Bob. Well, I'm sitting here out front, but you have the angle from the back, the same angle that we're looking at here, the judge's angle, and maybe we can tell. Let's look at the shoulders. Back straight, shoulders back. If he lifts borderline, could go either way. And it went against him. Yeah, the judges normally give the lifter the benefit of the doubt, but in their opinion, the lift was no good. And now here's Larry, right back. 688 pounds on the bar. That's an increase of, oh, between five and six pounds, about two and a half kilos, which is the minimum increase in weight allowed in powerlifting rules. If he gets this, it's in the bag, but I he don't think he has it. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. He's in trouble. And wife Carol has to be concerned. It appeared to be a title in the bag, but suddenly he's in trouble. He, he never had control of the weight. I can't believe what's happening. I mean, he should have smoked. Now you can get three months free with your adult films. More family pro Free! Something's going on by the table. Yep. No Judge Lyle Schwartz trying to explain a ruling to Larry Pacifico as they add some weight for what would be his third attempt. Yeah, I thought I'd make it three attempts no matter what. Bob, I'm going to get over to the table. Forgot, I didn't know the rule. Judge Schwartz trying to find the rule here for Larry Pacifico, and if I'm not mistaken, they may deny him attempt number three. But he said it was my second attempt. An increase. The progression is by at least five kilograms at a time, and a request for two and a half kilograms only indicates the last attempt. All the international referees do. There isn't any. There isn't any question about this rule. I couldn't be more sorry, but there is no question about this rule. I still don't interpret it that way. And Bob, 
bummed out. So incredibly, Larry Pacifico is eliminated. He appeared to be cruising to another title. Suddenly, a turn of events has knocked him out of the competition, throwing the door wide open to a number of lifters, including 26-year-old Mark Timidon. This deadlift attempt of 738 pounds would put him in the lead and successful. He's got it, but the big story is still Larry Pacifico. And here he is. Larry, what happened up there? Well, I guess I was looking into a ruling that I, I wasn't aware of, I'm afraid. Um, if you only jump 2.5 kilos, which I did from the first to the second, I missed my first, I jumped 2.5 kilos to my second, I missed, that means I don't get a third attempt, I'm out of the contest. Well, how do you feel about this whole thing? Uh, what can I say? You know, there goes my 10th title down the drain, and uh, I was just ignorant to the rule, I'm afraid. Do you think if you had a third attempt, you would have pulled it? I don't really think so, because I have a torn bicep, and, and I tore my hand on the second one, so I would have liked to give it a go, but I can't even do that. So, well, I'll have to come back next year.